Chester College's 144 students are now leading a fundraising charge to keep their school open. And it comes about a week after about a week ago, their administration suddenly announced that Chester won't be able to pay its bills and the college is in grave danger of closing. In only about a week's time, Chester College students have been able to raise some $70,000. It's currently 12.56 a.m. and I'm royally ticked off. I make a habit of it not to swear, but seriously, if I did, I would be right now. Basically, I go to a little school in the middle of nowhere called Chester College. It's basically the, the smallest little art school on the map and consequence of it here. And they basically just called an emergency meeting in the middle of a blackout of all things to all of the residents here on campus. And they basically just informed us that due to some, uh, I don't even know what, uh, I'm, I'm not the biggest political person out there, I, I'm far from it. I'm the person who saw those Occupy movement posters and just kind of went, oh, that's not my thing. And now it's, it's hitting me. Chester College is apparently on the chopping block for being shut down. Alright, so first question, why do you think Chester College is worth saving? You know, there's, um, every college, anybody who's trying to educate anybody great good on them so it's not to say oh there's only but I don't know of another place that whose mission is in a very obvious way in in the faculty level of passion by the faculty and the sort of self-directed um, internal lives of the students they're artists they're freaky artists kids who want to make art and figure out how that how to do that and what they need to be reading and who they need to be looking at and studying and there are plenty of places where that's going on liberal arts schools there's and they're great but Chester is the home of the freaks it is the place where the mad men and women are coming to learn how to get what's inside of them out into the world in a way that is beautiful and uh, you know, uh, truthful, and that's a really concentrated, uh, you know, the, the crucial resource that's missing in the world right now is that people aren't paying attention, and what all, what art has in common, whatever sort of art it is, visual art, musical art, literary art, is that it is an act of sustained attention, and in my own uh, schmaltzy view of things, the species is doomed unless we start to pay attention to one another, to one another's suffering, one another's exaltation, what's happening to the planet, what's happening to the people who uh, don't have enough to eat, what's happening with the people who have plenty to eat but for whatever reason won't share it. I mean, there's a real moral imperative when you talk about um, the role that artists have in the, in the world. And that's what Chester is trying to foster and create, is to embolden young people to make the very foolish economic decision that I believe very wise and noble, emotional and intellectual and psychological decision to make art. You can't so you say that. they create the same message but just in a new way that may someday their job. get through to somebody. Right. Their job is to make the world anew whether it's with language or with visual art. And it doesn't mean that, I mean, it takes a while to get good, some people are Mozart, but the rest of us have to figure out how to do it. And that's why there are places, liberal arts schools in general, but especially since we're talking about Chester, places like Chester where they have a faculty and a bunch of other people who are saying to them, this is important. This is the most important thing that you could do, and you're gonna have to work your ass off to make it happen. And it will help. All right. And what is your name, and what is your relationship with the college? <laughs> my name is Steve Allman, and my relationship with the college is we've gotten a second base, but I'm hoping for more.
<laughs> All right, and uh, what would you say to prospective writers who are looking to come here to Chester? I know some of them. I mean, I met the irony is I met a, I met a young woman who was so excited. A few months ago, I was up in Portland, Maine, and I met a, two two young women who were like, "We are so psyched because we are going to Chester next year." And they better be going to Chester next year, if you know what I mean. Like, it's, it's going to be breaking people's hearts if the college doesn't survive and exist for them. They need it. They're not, it it's the purest medicine they're going to get. Uh, and I don't think it's available elsewhere. They, they know, and people do know, is, you know, when you're a young person who really believes in art and is really into it, there are not a lot of places you can look to, a lot of colleges that are speaking to you and saying, yeah, this is what we do. There's a whole community dedicated to this. Um, and Chester is it. For, you know, so far as I know, it's the place where you know art lives. It's just renting shelf space. Um, so I would. I, it's, I don't even have to spread the word. It, the word is out there. What we have to do is figure out how to keep the place going. All right. Thank you.